Welcome back. At the end of the previous part, the fog has seemingly caused people to fall into comas, which isn't good, so we need to investigate and see what's going on there. Like, why those certain people? That's the question here. Why not everyone? It's quite strange. So we'll do our rounds, but at the same time we're going to be visiting people's houses to check on them and see what's going on, so let's begin here. Oh, hey there. Out patrolling? Much obliged. I feel safer already. Day or night, this fog is the same. No change whatsoever. Normally, once night sits in, a wind comes by and blows it away and everything's all clear by morning. This particular fog just seems to defy common sense. Nothing natural about it. You can never be too careful these days. Anything out of the ordinary is cause for alarm. That was slightly different, wasn't it? You can be careful on your patrol now, you hear? I will. <laughs> Why don't I try and turn the camera on you? There's no need. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Shara, what brings you here at this late hour? We're just patrolling the town a little. The guild issue a patrol as a precautionary measure. I've heard about all the coma victims. Or Luke and the others, too. I shudder that uh, they... Uh, to think that they might not wake up again. You need to be careful too, Estelle, is that clear? Understand, you, you mustn't push yourself too hard, or you'll simply break. Mm. You always treat me like a kid, Stella. She's a very sweet woman. Mm, yes, but she's got the right of it. We'd best be careful ourselves. Not for sure. I'm worried about all those who have taken ill, but you have to take care of yourself as well, Estelle. Understand, you mustn't push yourself too hard or you'll simply break. Indeed. Alright, let's check the opposite side. You guys look like you're working hard as ever. I know it's tough being a bracer, but right now I'm... I'd pick being a bracer over everything I've been dealing with. See, this girl my mother brought over said she'll help out around the store. I'd normally be happy for the extra hand, but you know how my mother is. No doubt that this is another one of her schemes to find me a wife. Uh, I can't take all this pressure. I'm not, I'm not ready to get married yet. He's gonna fall in love. He's gonna fall in love. That's what, what's gonna happen. Girl my mother brought over said she'll help around the store. I doubt it's another one of my schemes for her to find a wife. Oh, that was different. Why is it always like the last one? Uh, I can't take all this pressure. How do I turn her down? Assuming you want to, mate. You mean you want to? Kept asking and asking until they finally said I could work in the store. They're taking care of me, so it's only right that I do whatever I can to help them out, right? Mrs. Bloom's son doesn't seem all that jazzed to have me around, though. Maybe he's really uncomfortable having some stranger suddenly coming in to work out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like, it's just not some scheme. <laughs> and it's like, once he realizes it's not a scheme, he'll be like, Oh. Oh. I can imagine it probably going the way of sort of like, yeah, I'm starting theories about these two. Could see it being a case of like, she's going to leave. Like, get on the ship. Like, eventually when everything's resolved and we head back to Bose, she's going to like, get on the airship. But he comes in being like, no, don't leave. It'd be awesome if that happens. Kitty was the one who insisted. Kitty's helping around the store starting tomorrow. Renan's been so fidgety ever since I told him about her. Probably thinks I put her up to it. Try to arrange one or two marriages and no one trusts you anymore. <laughs> Renan's been fidgety ever since, but I swear I had nary a thing to do with it. Nary. You don't hear that word too often, do you? You nary hear that word. Ha ha ha. Yes. Hello. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hey, I've come all the way to the city, you know. Got to enjoy some shopping at least once, it's, uh, or it's a waste. The fuck out, mate. <laughs> okay. Hey there. You're an old, you're up late. Must be working hard. Seems like a pain. Out patrolling or something. Yeah, more or less. I'm investigating the fog and. Giving the town a uh, once-over while we're at it. 
Has anything happened over here? Mm, not that I can think of. Yo, man, nothing's happened, right? Nope. Been pretty quiet. Okay. Well, quiet's better than loud. We won't keep you gentlemen any longer. Come on, we should get back to our patrol. Good luck. If anything does happen, we'll contact the guild immediately. Seems like the old man's pretty interested in those new orphans. Been spending a lot of time alone lately, turning... Turning them, yep. Tuning them and such. If you have any questions about orphans, you'd be the one with the answers. I know it's not easy work by any means, but good luck with the patrol. Is there any way I can speak to him? He's at a distance, so it's probably no. Not working on the boxes, very well. Fishing spot search. We're going to wait on that search for a lost cat. I'm looking for my cat. I will be waiting at the hotel round. Ida. Mayor Klaus has asked you all to start investigating the coma incidents. Paperwork's just been processed, so you guys have officially been put on the case. Best of luck out there. Best of luck on the coma investigation. Not safe for sure what's going on, but be sure to proceed very carefully on this one. Very well, you guys. Okay. Ooh, no, I didn't want to go that way. I didn't want to go that way. I was just, like, deciding which way to go first. It's like... Um, let's actually start up here and see about the cat, you see. I think that's probably wise, isn't it? Where is she? Said she was here, didn't she? I think she did. Hotel Roland, what am I thinking? She said Hotel Roland. I hope she said Hotel Roland. Am I making up memories in my own head? Entirely possible. Where is she? There's no one there. What to do? What to do? Oh, you all, uh, you all are. Hey, it's been a while. We saw the job posted on the board. Oh my my, I'm so sorry to call you out so late at night. I know it's sudden, but would you go find Arl for me? Arl, a cat gone again? I take it. How about it? We will find my little Arl for sure. Yeah. We should be able to handle the job right now. Given the circumstances, though, I'm wondering if now is the right time. Responding to complex situations is an important part of a brace's job. We'll assist you as much as we can. Wonderful. If you can, could you provide some details? We know that you're looking for a cat. Is that Arl you mentioned the cat in question? Yes, that's right. My little Arl has run off. She disappeared while I was... Taking an afternoon nap. Oops. This sure seems mighty familiar. That would mean she... That would mean she'd be gone for half a day. That would mean she'd be gone for half a day. Yep, that's what it says. I could see why you're getting worried if she'd be gone for half a day. Do you have any idea where she might have gone? If you can think of any spots she might have gone to, that would help. Hmm, I might have an idea. From what I found out, the landing port seems suspicious. The landing port? I poked around there a bit and asked one of the engineers, and they said someone saw a cat. Said it was a light brown kitty, so it must be Arl. Uh, I see. Oh, I should write down the color of the cat's fur. Oh, that is valuable information. We're off to a promising start. Yes, I think it's worth investigating. Let's ask around at the landing port. Couldn't agree more. I'm glad I was able to help. I'll be waiting here for word of my little Arl. Good luck. We'll report once we found her. Yes. Until then. I'll be waiting right here. I'm counting on you. For my sweet Arl. Very well. Oh, a stolen Sherazard. Busy with brace work, I see. Your services are most appreciated. Hello, Vern. Anything out of the ordinary over here? No, the hotel is quiet as always. Uh, has there been some manner of incident? We're just taking precautionary measures. Nothing to worry about. I see. Very good, then. 
Should anything occur, I will be sure to contact the guild. Please do. Is there anything else? Uh, I'll be sure to contact the guild right away. Still though, this dense fog. I expected it to drift away with the night air, but it's just staying put. Where is this fog even coming from, I wonder? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right, well, it's not the forest. It's not the tower. It's got to be somewhere near Ronan, because, again, it's like, it's... Where's, where's the map? Where's the map? Where's the map? There, it's like, it's... Like, the shape we had on it was very, very odd. It's almost like it's just above Roland. But even then, it's not a circle. So it's sort of like, hmm. Hmm. Very strange. I've contacted my wife, so I'm not worried. Oh, really, it's been a long time since I spent the night away from home. Guess I'll just try and make the best of it. All I can see... Uh, ah! Ah! We'll start all again there. Ah, I can see the passenger ships from here. Wonder if they'll be setting off soon. I mean, probably not. You're meant to be a passenger. I'd hope not. Don't know why I checked in there. I've already been there, haven't I? And there was no one there. Yeah, let's see around here. No one. No. Need to sneeze at some point. In fact, I might do that now. Yes. Oh my, that was quite a sneeze. Estelle, Shadowzard, welcome. Hi, Mom. Did Mayor Klaus tell you about us? Yes. We're investigating the fainting cases. If there is anything I can do to help, please feel free to ask. Thank you. Well, firstly, how is Lita? Well, Lita, she won't awaken no matter what we do. I pray she'll wake normally come the sunrise, whatever. That's worth in this fog. But for now, all I can do is keep an eye on her. That's awful. Where exactly did Lita collapse? And do you remember when? Let me see. It would have been just before five... I stepped out of the kitchen and found her collapsed in the entranceway. I panicked a little, needless to say, and called for Klaus, who was able to carry her to bed. But to think that her others afflicted the same way. She collapsed in the entryway. Hang on, was the door locked at the time? I don't believe it would have been. After all, people have been visiting all day to speak to my husband about how to deal with this fog. That's a list of suspects that soldiered along then. Oh, uh, how long were you in the kitchen, by the way? Mm, about 30 minutes, I suppose? Alright, I think we have a good picture of what happened. One last thing, if I may. Was there anything strange before or after Lita collapsed? Strange? Uh, what do you mean? Like a bell? Did the house have any unfamiliar visitors? Or were there any odd sounds? Anything you can think of, Ma? Uh, let me think. I'm not sure I'd call it strange, but it was memorable. When I was in the kitchen, I heard the faint sound of a bell. The sound of a bell. Hold on a sec. Didn't... We hear one too? It was such a lovely sound. I thought Lita rang it, perhaps. But that reminds me. I haven't been able to find that bell. I, I wonder where she put it. You've given us a lot to think about, Mom. If anything else happens, please contact us at the guild at once. Uh, yes, of course. Oh, and everyone, uh, do be careful, won't you? Yeah, we will. Thanks for your help. If anything happens, we'll contact the guild immediately. Be careful. Uh, why is this happening in this city? Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, hello everyone. I think something so grave would occur here. Unfortunately, I've been left with no choice but to cancel my trip to the capital. What? You cancelled it? So you won't be attending the signing ceremony? Yes, it pains me to do so to Her Majesty, but I simply cannot go under these circumstances. Attending such ceremonies is part of my duty as a mayor. That much is true. But no matter the reason, I just cannot leave the city as it is. Even if it, if it is by order of the Queen. That's upsetting. I've talked to Einar about the investigation from my end. Still, you can begin immediately. Hopefully that will help prevent any further harm. 
Yeah, got it. Yes, we'll do all we can. I've already found Ina. Lita's sleeping in the room across the way. My wife is tending to her, so please ask her for the details. Alright, very well. Doesn't seem to be anything suspicious up there. Yeah, you know, could have been something up there. Related to everything that's going on. Jeez, how long is Pierre going to keep praying? I wish he'd think for a second about me, the guy who's been waiting for, like, ever. Uh, if he takes too much longer, the bar will close. Maybe I should go and get something on my own. Thanks to the goddess, there were no accidents of any kind today. I shall pray for her protection again tomorrow. I am deeply thankful for the goddess's daily protection. The night sky may be veiled in darkness tonight. But as long as you're by my side, I have no need for its dismal glow. Our love burns brighter than all the stars in the sky, Ellie. <laughs> oh, Armand, um, you're such a romantic. See, for me, it's like I'm just thinking, like, in terms of romance and, like, me and Sarah and stuff like that, I just go, like, you're adorable, and usually get back a... That's how our romance works. If the secret stimulant of the church hasn't worked, then I'm afraid I'm at a loss as to what to do now. The coma cases here differ from the ones caused by drugs or disease. And now I intend to scour all the medical texts I have on hand, but I have my doubts as how much we can expect. Perhaps I should contact Grensel Cathedral and see what they have to say. Once I have a full report on the symptoms, I'll have the re results posted immediately. You have an abundance of texts and their priests are acquainted with diseases from all respective regions. They may know how to treat this affliction. Oh, goddess above, Varios. May the people lured into this sleep awaken. Just, just in case, we'll check up here. Doesn't seem to be anything. That's fine. Okay. Can we even go to the sewer? Hmm, apparently we can. Just feels strange that we can. Maybe just giving you a way to level up or something like that. You know how it is. Right. Next step. I'm gonna do what Papa says and stay in the house for today. I wonder if Luke and Pato are playing outside. Wish I was. They're so lucky. <laughs> I like our house, but being locked up is boring. I'm gonna go outside tomorrow, no matter what Papa says. No, if you're in lockdown, you stay inside. These are the rules. You'd be an idiot. There's no way around it. You'd be an idiot if you leave under such circumstances. I heard there are a number of people who have fallen into an irreversible sleep. I don't know if it has anything to do with this creepy fog. I have the way. I'm forbidding Uni from going outside for now. All I can do to keep her safe right now. It's my duty as a parent to keep her safe. And the fog is the only danger I can see right now. <laughs> good father. Good father. Oh, hello. You're still in Sherazard, right? Yes. Good evening. We're here to investigate by, uh, by order of the mayor, but, uh... Mr. Radford okay? Yes, but there's no change, I'm afraid. He's sound asleep and seems comfortable. But we cannot wake him. No matter what we do. Is our only option to wait and watch over him until morning? I'm afraid so. That's all you can do, for now at least. I know this is a bad time, but could we ask you a few questions? Of course. I don't know if we could answer everything, but I'd be happy to help in any way I can. Thank you, you two. Firstly, where and when did Radford fall asleep? Ah, oh, it's 5.30. I was, I was thinking like the half-hour discrepancy at the mayor's house, you know. The time? Around 5.30, I guess. The place? Well... Just outside that door, essentially. Outside the door? So, what, in the hallway? Yes, I heard a knock and a voice say, I'm home. I unlocked the door to greet him, but 
when I did, I found my father-in-law on the ground, unconscious. To be honest, I thought father had simply gotten drunk again, but I couldn't smell any alcohol on his breath. I thought it was strange, and then we couldn't wake him, no matter what we did. So I went to go see Father Divine. See, I think I understand the situation. One last question, if I may. Was there anything odd about the situation before Radford fell asleep? Anything odd? What, do you mean like this blasted fog? Aside from that. For example, did you see anyone odd hear any strange noises? Come to think of it, uh, when we dragged Radford in, we noticed it too. In all this fuss, I, I thought I just imagined it. Uh, what is it? It was when we were putting Radford to bed. We have heard, it seems, the sound of a bell. The sound of a bell here, too. It was surprisingly lovely, really. I simply thought someone outside rang one. Thank you. You've given us a lot of information. If you remember anything else, please contact the guild straight away, all right? Yes, of course. Well, excuse us then. We'll be back to check up tomorrow. Okay, here. Yeah. Thank you, Estelle. Great progress with your rounds today. If anything happens, I'll promise I'll contact the guild. The bell toll was so pretty, wasn't it? I had never heard one chime so clearly before. So clearly. Okay. Should go this way, just check outside. You never know. We're having dinner tonight as a family for the first time in a while. Town may have its share of problems, but happy moments like these make them all feel so small. Though my husband does go back to work tomorrow. My usually... My usually husband, yep. My husband usually heads out to the mine early in the day. I wish I didn't have to see him go. But I suppose it's part of being married. I get to have dinner with mummy and daddy tonight. <laughs> I get to feed daddy. So, when do I feed daddy? Daddy goes all yummy, and it makes him happy, which makes me happy. Aw, oh, she's adorable. Hey there, Estelle. Mine's running just as fine as ever. And man, does she keep me busy. This is my first time home in nearly a week. Tells me that I gotta go right back out there soon, too. We're just swamped with work. I'll need to leave early tomorrow. Well, all I can do is entrust my family to Adios while I'm away. Indeed. Just, again, just checking on things. Let's go up to the, um... Forgot about the tower, of course. Chirp, chirp, cheer. Milk, you say? Well, that was odd. Hmm. How bizarre. Okay. Anyway. Hmm. He's not there. Why is he not there? I'm wondering if the kitty's round in this place. This freaking fog. The humidity. Oh, mate. I can agree with you there on that. I'm gonna need to get everything set up to withstand this, but might as well be underwater the way things are. Um, excuse me, uh, can I have a moment? I need to ask you something. Hmm? Sure, what is it? Still explained that she was looking for a wheat-coloured cat. Oh yeah, that cat. Yeah, I saw it around noon today. So during midday. Which lines up perfectly with what Ida told us. Do you know where the cat is now, or where it was headed? No idea, sorry. Day's been kind of crazy. Where would it even have... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I haven't seen it since then. I have no idea where it might have gone. Cats kind of go where they please, you know? Yeah, I guess they do. Well, that's it for us then. Our trail of clues stops right here. Well, hold on there. Why not ask Quint? 
just went into town for dinner. Went? Yeah, he's the Cecilia's helmsman. He was talking about the cat too. Cool. Time to find Quint then. Let us have the helmsman steal us true then. I would imagine he is at the restaurant in town. Thank you for your help. Uh, no problem. Uh, good luck. Trasking Quint, the helmsman, about the cat. Just went off to get dinner. We should be in town somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe there was some kind of restaurant or a bar. Hmm, looking for Quint. He went to get some food. How do you know I'm looking for Quint? Wait, seriously, how does he know? I didn't say anything. Suspicious. I mean, I didn't even want to go in this way, but okay. Ah, that was good. Been a while since I had a proper dinner like this. Mmm, yes, sir. Now that my stomach's full, it's time to get back. Chomp, chomp, chomp. So, back to those fuck. Much, much, much. I've never seen anything like it. If you chew, you should not say it now. Gulp, smack. I don't want to go to work. I've never seen anything like this fog before in my life. It's not Sunday tomorrow, I don't want to go to work. There you go. The blonde head lady's been on my mind ever since I laid eyes upon her. To think such a wonderful woman ever existed. Chance meeting in a little village. My serendipitous arrival. The goddess may very well be directing me to my true love. Sweet Adios. I'll have to learn as much as I can about that lady starting tomorrow. Gotta do proper research first if you want to get close. My body's falling in love at first sight again. Every time he opens his mouth, he starts talking about that woman. Blonde goddess, this heavenly mandate, that. It's nothing new, so it's not like I, I'll worry about it. Quick to flame, quick to cool. That's Anton in a nutshell. Blonde woman. I know. My body's falling in love at first sight again. I wonder when we'll take off. So sick of waiting. Looking for Quint. Finished his dinner a while ago and took off. Doubt he went back to the ship. He's probably out killing time in town. If only we knew where he was. Even though his wife's under the strange sleep, he is still hard at work like always. Sure, uh, it sure feels like he's lacking his usual energy. He's went off to tend to her mother and hasn't come back yet. But to hang in there the best I can. It sure feels like he's lacking his usual energy. Uh, hey there, Estelle. Denzel. Sorry, but take care of Tabitha for me. Thought about closing up the bar tonight, but everyone's gonna want some liquor on a night like this. As owner of the only bar in the city, I can't shut my doors during a time like this. I see. Yeah, I get it. If we get a hold of anything, we'll let you know. Yeah, thanks. Counting on you. Everyone's coming here to relieve some stress. So please take care of Tepper for me. Of course. Of course. Then you're right. Kent was super late today, too. But he got lost in the fog, but I'm sure he's just out stuffing his face. Guy's such a glutton. He even skipped out on work to eat. If he used that energy at work, he'd be ten times better than he is now. Don't really think he needs to eat so much that he's gonna skip out on work. He should use that energy on the job. Is Luke doing okay? Hope it's not serious. We shall see. Hi, Estelle. Uh, and Shadowzard? Hi, Elisa. Um, how's your mother? Well, it seems like she's sleeping okay. But I'm so worried. She won't, like, wake up or, or do anything, even if you shake her. Father Divine said there's nothing to worry about, but... I see. We're investigating this at the request of the mayor. Could we ask you a few questions? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Ask me anything you want. 
Okay then. First, where'd your mother fall asleep and when? Um, let's see, uh, it was about five, I think. Mom and I went out to clean the chairs and stuff on the terrace. The chairs? Yeah, we figured it might get damaged from all the humidity in the air due to this creepy fog, you know? Finished weatherproofing the ground floor, you see. So we figured we'd totally store the chairs, too. I see. All right, and then? Hey, okay, so, I were cleaning up, Dad called me. When I got back, Mom was all zonked out uh, in one of the chairs. So you didn't see her fall asleep, then? Yeah, sorry. I tried talking to her, shaking her, but she wouldn't wake up. I totally freaked out and called Dad, and he carried her up to the bed. And then she... she wouldn't. Mom. Elisa. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sort of losing it because you're home too, Estelle. Yeah, I know. It's okay, you don't need to worry. Yeah. I'm okay now. Thanks. Did you want to ask anything else? Uh, one second. Sherry, you got anything? Possibly. Lisa, did anything strange happen before or after your mother went to sleep? Did you see anyone you didn't recognize or hear anything strange? People I didn't recognize. Actually, yeah, just as I was heading inside, so this lady come out of the clock tower. A woman. Was it someone from Roland, you think? Well, I, I couldn't see her face. The fog made it kind of hard to see details. But her clothes were really weird. You she had to be a traveler of some sort, you know? Really weird. What's weird about them? She was wearing this sort of black dress robe thing? Can't lie, it was kind of hard. It's a bit hard to see details in the fog, though, like I said. See, still, this is really valuable. You need to go tell Ina this. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Elisa. You've helped us tremendously. No, no, it's okay. Uh, good luck with your investigating uh, stuff. And don't you worry, okay? You can count on us to save your mum. We'll figure this out and wake her up. I know. Thanks, Estelle. Mm hmm. Estelle, I'm counting on you. I'm okay now, so good luck with your investigation. Alright, so so far it's like, it's, it's, it's this idea of like, the fog is probably just a cover, if anything. It's like, it's not the fog causing it. It's just... And that idea is like, it's happening at the same time. Someone's going around, it's like... Because it wasn't like... Everyone passed out at five. It's like around that time. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're ending this part here. In the next part, we'll head off. And see if we can finish this kitty quest first before we go see about the final person then heading back to Aina. We'll see you in the next part. Tot off for now.